welcome back to episode two of Fishing with the Brands. You join me down at a place called the Boathouse Fisheries near Bridge North, which is a brand new day ticket that's due to open the next couple of weeks. It's an amazing old sort of estate mere, beautiful looking lake, big old rickety boathouse on it, stocking of about 120 carp, 10 of those are 30s. Uh, 70 of those other ones are 20 so a really nice stock of fish it's a very independent setup here at the boathouse fisheries they've got 25 stock ponds on site it used to be a big trout fishery and trout farm so they've converted it all into stock ponds for carp so they can hand pick the very best fish to go in the actual fishing lake so when you're fishing here you know you're going to be fishing for the best looking fish that you can find and i've seen some pictures already and they are incredible incredible fish so the plan of action for this session we're here for 24 hours my guest who is joining me today you will meet in a short while i'm sure you already know who it is by the thumbnail but we'll talk to him in a little while but for the moment I want to get the rods out and get set up. So let's get on with it. We've got 24 hours to try and catch some fish. Bit of a friendly match along the way as usual, but this time I've also got a cameraman with me. Yes! Enough complaining, enough moaning at Chris, and I managed to get a cameraman with me. So he's helped me on this one. So obviously I can concentrate and win this friendly match still is it still not gonna happen but anyway let's get on with it let's get the rods out let's get fishing and let's meet our guest for this match or the cameraman can catch all the fish whilst he's still filming that could happen as well <laughs> yes that really could happen get to work opportunity I'm um, hooked up with John from HF Angling and Nige and we've come down to something really quite special um, the boathouse fishery um, I've not really heard of it before John got in touch and said you fancy coming on a session with me here and I'm so glad I took him up on the offer um, met up with Alex the fishery manager and John the owner both lovely gentlemen gave us some time showed us around and I, I really am in awe of the place. Not only is the stock incredible, 160 sort of hand-selected fish, it's just a slice of paradise. It's right deep in rural countryside. The swims have been finished impeccably well, and I'm itching to get fishing. We've done a little draw, um, pulled a, a piece of wood chip from Nigel's hand. I did win the draw, and I'm gonna head into that bottom corner there. So without further ado, I'm gonna go and load the barrel up, get around there, and very, very discreetly just drop a couple of rigs in the water because I've already noticed a little bit of coloured, coloured pluming and stuff, and there might be a quick bite on the cards if I'm lucky. <laughs> Well, here we are, set up in the swims, ready to go. The sun's actually graced us for the first time today, I think, to be honest, so that's quite nice. A few warm rays beating down the swims, it's absolutely beautiful. So I'm actually in the right-hand swim, which is next to the boathouse. Nige is in the middle swim, and Alan's down on the first swim, which is called the bailiff swim in the corner. He actually won the peg draw. We did it on his Instagram story, um, he won. So we got the first choice and all the fish to be fair were right down that corner so he's setting up in there Nigel, as i say is in the middle in between us then i'm up at this end here um tactics wise don't really know yet to be fair probably put some singles out maybe throw and stick a few boilies out there something like that i've got a bit of an array of bait with me because you never know what you're going to be doing when you get here so i bought everything um, we'll start with the basics and sort of work up from there a couple of hinge rigs there's a bit of weed out there so a couple of hinge stiff rigs of Ronnie's maybe and um, we'll just just see how it works so from here on out let's hope we catch a few fish now we're all nicely settled in got the home up let's see what happens
Well, it got dark here very, very quickly. This place is pretty much all on its own. There's nothing else around here. Surrounded by trees, so when the sun goes down, it goes super dark. So yeah, it's gone really dark. On a good point, Nige has had a fish. He's had one before, Al and I. Had it at range, lovely low 20 mirror, mega, mega fish. Really, really happy for him. Just need Al or me to catch a fish next. But before we do anything else, we're gonna have a mega barbecue, have some lovely food. Nigel's gonna be the chef for us tonight, thank God, because if it was me cooking, it wouldn't end very well for any of us. So Nigel's gonna cook us up a mega, mega barbecue. We're gonna chill out, have a couple of coffees, and get ourselves ready for the night ahead. So yeah, that's it for me for the time being. Hopefully you'll see us very soon with some more absolutely mega fish from the Boathouse Fisheries. But for now, let's get some food and settle in for the evening. start the morning. The sun just poked its head out from behind the clouds, seen a few fish moving so uh, chucked a couple of zigs at them and almost straight away this has gone off. Now we're here filming a piece for John versus the brands fishing a match against Alan. I've come along to referee the match and help John with the filming but uh, unfortunately John's been behind the lens most of the day <laughs> and last night as well. Yeah it's been great. Brilliant. What are you saying, John? Yeah, well done, mate. Thank you. Great. Love videoing you. Brilliant, do you mate. want to start catching some soon and we I can get do. the video started I properly? Do, mate. Yeah, yeah. Just waiting for you to stop catching them, to be fair, mate. Yeah. <laughs> So, as we explained before, I've come down to help John film him and Alan in his uh, Fishing with the Brands piece. Reason being, John said it's very difficult to catch fish while you're filming ah. and he needed to concentrate on catching them so that he had some content. But uh, how difficult is it to catch fish when you're filming, John? It's really hard, mate. Really hard. Um, but you haven't really done any filming yet, so... You haven't done any catching. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> They're getting smaller though, but hopefully there's a few more for us. And a few more for John, maybe. It's a mega fish, that is, isn't it? It's a nice one, isn't it? Yeah. It's going to be a nice fish, this one. Oh, I'm having the loveliest of times. Um, it may well look sunny, but it's actually freezing cold. I've got an easterly blowing right into my face here. Where are we at? Well, I haven't caught anything. 
Um, I started over in that corner last night and uh, it felt good. Uh, I got the rods out really, really discreetly. A um, couple of singles, little Ronnie Claw of a citrus pop up on, a choddy, sort of tucked right into the corner and a solid bag that I dropped with a baiting pole. Kept disturbance to an absolute minimum and, and really did think there was a bite on the cards. There was certainly fish in the area. Uh, Nigel nicked a bite on dusk. We had a lovely barbecue. Boys kind of took themselves to bed and I weren't happy. I just, it didn't feel right. Um, I ended up packing everything up, including the bivvy and loading the barrow and going for a bit of a mooch about. Come down to the other end of the lake. And although I didn't see any shows, in my gut, in my heart, it just felt better. So I dropped on to a swim over there for the night. Uh, got up at 5.30, it was still dark, sat there listening. Um, it's now really, really cold. Um, got the kettle on and yeah, didn't see any shows. Uh, but then the liners started to pick up, so I sat it out a little bit longer, coffee or two later, but then decided to move again. So I'm in my third swim now, which is round here, and yeah, I've been here a few hours now. Been here a few hours. Uh, I'll be lying if I said I hadn't really tried very, very hard, tried everything. Um, and yeah, I'm kind of sitting on my hands now. Uh, I could move again. But there are fish out in front of me and they're just moving very, very fast, which is a little bit strange. If it was a month or two later into the year, you'd think they were sort of grouping up to spawn. They're charging around in little packs. Um, and while I'm over here, quietly blanking, Nigel's over there carving it up. He's had a couple more today. <laughs> <Nick> to... <laughs> hey, John. <laughs> Let's make yeah. a film with Nigel Woodcock, yeah. top angler, extraordinaire, it's best salesman. It's no longer fishing with the runs, it's now fishing with the wraps. Fish with Nigel, mate. Um, no, I. I'm failing in a nutshell. That is fishing. Um, I haven't got a huge amount of time left. Desperately don't want to blank, never do. But yeah, like I say, uh, I feel I've already chased them around a little bit. Don't really want to waste my last couple of hours chasing them around. So just sitting tight, keeping disturbance to a minimum. And just enjoying being here. I've really enjoyed it. John's great company. Nigel's been great company. Good barbecue. And yeah, I'm just enjoying being back out fishing again and, and able to do nights. Um, for that, I'm very, very grateful. A bite would be a lovely bonus. That's 35 pounds. 35 pounds would be good. Big scaly one, like getting these forests. Oh, mate. I'm keeping those fingers crossed. But for now, we sit quietly and wait. Well, we've come to the end, this is it. Alan has pulled it out of the bag, as Alan does, and bagged an absolutely mega fish. Just about though. Ju yeah. Just about. It's probably an original as well, we think. It's Looking at it. it, it's a mega coloured carp. Absolutely mega coloured, a bit of an orange tinge to it. And a great reward for a lot of effort and work that has gone into this session, let me tell you. So yeah. Big thank you, Alan, Thank you, mate. Loved it. Well. Really enjoyed it. And hopefully you'll invite... Easy. Hopefully you'll invite me back again. Always, day. mate. You're welcome anytime. Next time I'm coming your way, though. That's without a doubt. Let's do it. <laughs> thank you all for watching. And uh, we will see you in the next one. Bye, everyone. <laughs> <laughs>